Hi, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, this time around, we're going to look at how to replace a uh, switch in a stack. So you have an existing ICX stack, one of your switches has failed, and uh, you need to replace it. So what is the methodology to do that? So we'll hop over to our switch here. We're going to have a look at our stack. So show, uh, show stack. Okay, so we have three units in our stack. Um, we have two 24 ports, a 48 port. Uh, so we're going to replace this number three here. So um, 68AA is its MAC address. Um, so there's actually nothing you need to do. So what you what you need before this is your replacement stack unit has to be exactly the same hardware, right? So um, if it's a 24 port PoE or a 48 port non PoE or 48 port PoE, etc., the replacement unit has to be exactly the same. You also have to have licenses. So in the 7250 that I'm using, for example, you have to have 10 gig licenses in order to stack. So that license has to be on there as well as any feature licenses. So if there was a full layer three feature license, for example, like in the 6610, you would have to have that same feature license installed before. It also has to be uh, the same software version. So all we're going to do is take those cables and install them in exactly the same ports on the replacement unit. And so assuming that you put them in exactly the same place and the new unit is clean. In other words, it can not have any startup config on it. It has to be factory config. So you've done a, uh, a write erase on it uh, or an erase start it's going to uh, it will it's the controller uh, or active controller is going to automatically reconfigure that device and add it into the stack after it resets it so uh, it's going to take a few minutes to do that um, so the 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 previous unit has to time out but it should automatically add that into the topology Now you see that uh, the third unit here is in a reserve state at the moment. So it's, it's missing, right? Um, it's timed out, but it's, it's reserved or preserved its configuration. Okay. So when the new unit comes up, assuming it's exactly the same hardware, it's going to take over uh, the same configuration as the previous unit. So really there's nothing to do in the command line. You could do this without ever logging into the switch as long as your new unit is clean and you're using the default uh, stacking ports, etc. But provided all that, you know, it should come up and configure itself without any user interaction whatsoever. Okay, so when it comes up, it'll uh, take over and be good to go. So that's it for this video, and tune in again. Thank you.